Hi, and welcome back to Mama 4 Boys. Uh, today, I am doing an unboxing of the Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill. Uh, so, uh, Rachel thought that this would be a great gift for Tommy uh, with his cooking, and uh, we just decided to get it for him, so, because we love him so much. Anyway, uh, lucky him, right? And so, what this comes with, it says that this comes with a grease tray, a removable wood fire smoke box, a grill grate, a flat top griddle grate, a crisper basket, and a premium grill cover, and a pellet scoop. And it comes with a couple of little bags of, of, of uh, smoking pellets. So how about we get right into cutting this open and seeing what's actually in the box. We've heard a lot of good things about this, and uh, it's nice that uh, Tommy's excited about it because he said that we'll be able to also take it to camp, which makes it versatile. It's not so big that we can't take it to camp, and uh, and we're excited about that. So let's get right into it here. Okay, looks like it's uh, looks like it's packed very nicely. Okay, so the first thing I see is. Uh, I see the pellet scoop here. Perfect. Just the handles at an angle, so it's just perfect for pouring without spilling. And on the top here, we have, uh, uh, let's see here. These are all purpose blend, balanced, mild, bright, sweet pellets. It says uh, up to three cooking sessions in this bag. Here's another bag. Uh, Robust blend, robust, smoky, and rich uh, pellets, also up to three cooking sessions. So they look like this, almost like the pellets that we burn in our in our uh, pellet stove. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have a left and right handle, so there's going to be a little bit of assembly required. Doesn't look like much though. This must be the uh, grease tray. Let's see what we have here. This is a nice flat top griddle. Look at that, it's very smooth. Goes right on there. Has a, a track that guides the grease down at an angle and out into your drip tray. This looks like our other griddle here. Let's see if I can get that out. There we go. This is a, a, a rigid, uh, like a, a broiler type of Real great. Okay, we take our first layer of styrofoam out. Very nicely packed. Well, the rest of it looks like it's pretty much assembled, so let's try to get this out of here, okay? Okay, we're back, and I've got my uh, unit unboxed. I've got my packing out of the way. Uh, I've got my handles here. Um, I, I do have to say that in my box, there was not a quick start guide, which uh, they're supposed to be. And in my box, there was not a wrench to connect the handles with. There should be a two and a half millimeter Allen head screw uh, wrench in there. It appears that it's a straight handle with like a, a square end on it for you to be able to turn it. Uh, so I had to get my own wrench and uh, so we're gonna have to contact Ninja to find out where our quick start guide is. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these handles on and you just reach underneath. They kind of pull up into place. And then I think you'll just use the wrench, lift up on it. So this is the only assembly that I believe there is. It's just these, uh, these two screws here on each side. Um, not much to it, they're not very long pretty easy but you do want to get them in there good and uh, so that you don't have anything coming apart on you while you're moving it so let's open it up and inside looks like we have a, a ninja cover it's kind of a nylon it's not burlap it's not as heavy as the cover that came with my blackstone uh, so I would not leave this I probably wouldn't leave that out in the rain uh, there's the crisper basket 
and there's uh i'm assuming what you do uh with this is you lay one of your either your griddle or your your flat top or your raised griddle uh, grill on here to catch anything that comes out of your crisper basket uh, here's your your button that activates it whenever the weight of the the base goes on so i'm going to lay a base on here here's the, the hole that goes for the, the grease to drip out of lay that on there and then if you're going to use your crisper basket you lay your crisper basket on here and this collects any of your grease uh, has an air fryer fan in it just like the other ninja machines do and it's pretty heavy looks like it closes here's your grease tray that just there's two tracks in the back here it just slides right in there so that whenever you have grease running out it goes right down into this tray here and the tray comes right out. So it looks like it has uh, a pretty decent heavy duty cord. Uh, it's got a, a trip, like a, uh, a shut off uh, if there's a ground fault or something like that. But you do have to uh, you do have to plug it in and then reset this in order for this to work. It has its own breaker in it. So if it were to overheat, it would probably throw that breaker, which is a good safety feature. So again, let's close it up here. Now let's get to the, here's your pellet opening. So you just lift it up, it's spring loaded. And I believe you'll use one of these, which is, looks like about a half a cup. Fill it with pellets and you can just, actually has a little lip on it here. You can dump your pellets in and get it clear over so that you don't spill them. Looks like very easy. It's going to be very easy to put them in. Of course, I'm doing it with my left hand instead of my right, but for the purpose of the video, I think it'll do. So you put your pellets in, and let's try to cook the other grill grate that's on. It comes with it on here. And that sits right in there as well. That's very nice. Um, I am disappointed that it didn't come with the, the quick start manual uh, that's going to show me how to set the machine and how to get it started. Uh, but I do believe that um, that could, you know, any, any company that makes enough things, there could be a mistake where it doesn't get a manual in it. I'm not going to return the unit uh, over a book. I will contact Ninja and they will get us the book. I'm sure there, there, are, there are QR codes on the box I could scan. Uh, there's several different ones. I'm sure I could scan one and probably download the manual, which I will try to do. Uh, this cooking grate here has some indentations in it here, which appear to match this. So if you're going to use the crisper, I believe you want to use this, not the flat one, because it doesn't have the indentations. Use the cooking grate here, the, the grill one, because it has the indentations that mate, mate with this. And you'll see it fits right down in there perfectly. Uh, so this is going to conclude the unboxing of this unit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to download the manual and see what I can find out about it. And we'll come back uh, whenever we use it uh, for our first cooking session, which may be some chicken wings. We want to air fry. Uh, we want to smoke and air fry those in here and see how that works out. So please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about Mama Four Boys. Come back and watch our other videos that we're going to make about this unit. And until the next time we see each other, have a great rest of your night. 